Hey Tony, listen up. I had a question, a couple followers um, asked me, which is actually a pretty decent question in my opinion. Um, let's say you would do a oral only cycle with SARMs and you wanted to stack like two SARMs together with maybe YK11 or a S23 or whatsoever. Do you need a test base? I mean, of course you do need a test base at some point, but is it possible to have a test base coming from an oral SARMs or, I mean, you got the pro hormone for andro, although I'm not a big fan of pro hormones myself. Um, but like, is there a possibility to take uh, some SARM, which does have a little bit of conversion into estrogen, although SARMs are selective and they bind to androgen receptors. And I really don't know that much about ACP 105. There's still not that much knowledge on the internet. So I don't know if it does uh, pack on a little bit of conversion to estrogen or whatsoever, but um, so yeah, if I would do an oral cycle and I wanted to stack like two compounds together, which would be like I said, uh, YK11 and S23 or whatsoever, um, how do I get the test base without injecting testosterone just coming from any form of oral? So what SARM could you use as a test base? Well, the problem is we don't know because testosterone does so many things in the body, we don't even know all the things it does. Now SARMs are much more powerful at building muscle in the androgen receptor in the muscle cell than testosterone is. But that doesn't mean that SARMs are a complete replacement for testosterone because testosterone does things also outside of the muscle cell. Uh, things that affect our general health and well-being. Uh, things about our mental performance, our mental focus, our mental drive, you know, every part of our body um, or every organ in our body could potentially respond to testosterone, whereas SARMs were specifically designed to build muscle, to activate the androgen receptor in the muscle cell, and specifically designed not to affect other parts of the body, which is great to stack it on top of testosterone or to take a low dose to where it doesn't suppress testosterone. But if you're trying to replace testosterone completely with SARMs, the reason why the answer is we don't know is because we know that SARMs do have some activity outside the androgen receptor. But nobody's ever tested how the SARM interacts with all these other different tissues in the body. I mean, yes, we test with, with prostate and other things like that for the purpose of getting FDA approval because SARMs are trying to get FDA approved for uh, preventing or treating things like prostate cancer. But they're not being tested as a TRT, as a testosterone replacement therapy. That being said, I have done cycles of only SARMs where my testosterone was practically zero, 74, where normal would be a, uh, probably around 500 to give you an example. So my testosterone was low, as low as like a 14 year old girl. And I felt great on one of those cycles and I was just taking Osterine. On the other hand, I did another cycle where my testosterone was crashed and I just did estrogen and I felt like something was missing. I felt like my sex drive, my energy, everything was low. And that's also because testosterone converts to estrogen and DHT. So it might not have been the testosterone deficiency that I, was causing me side effects of low, testo low hormones, let's say. It might have been the estrogen or the DHT and SARMs also don't convert to estrogen or DHT. So I don't think SARMs are going to be a complete replacement for TRT. I think it can be done for a while. I think it can replace 85% of the benefits of TRT. Um, I have friends that are in their 50s, 60s, 70s that have low testosterone and added in SARMs and it accomplished everything that they would have hoped for and more. Uh, from, compared to TRT, but that's because they had some base level of testosterone. So let's say your testosterone is uh, 200, which is very low testosterone, but it's enough to service most of the functions the, uh, in, in the body. And then you add something like a SARM on top of that. And because the testosterone is already low, the SARM isn't going to suppress it much lower than that, right? The lower your testosterone is, the less suppressive thing, the less impact suppression has on it. Because it's like the higher testosterone is, it's really easy for something to suppress it and bring it down. The lower it is, it's like your body has a threshold and it, and it tries not to let your testosterone level get too low from even suppressive compounds. So the long story short is you asked if 
what you could use as sort of a testosterone base uh, and technical answer is nothing uh, but if I it, it, but consider this all the SARMs have different androgenic and anabolic ratios they bind to different receptors with diff different affinity for those receptors uh, 